Welcome to this Sports Bath online education series. Soccer coaching the web, course number one, capturing and organising content. This is our introduction. That's some background about me, Robin Russell, the course lecturer for this course, my background both in soccer and education. We made some assumptions about you, the course learner. This course is focused completely on practical application in developing skills that you can use to assist yourself and the players that you coach. But we have made a couple of assumptions. We assume that um, you want to be a web champion, not one of those people that keep saying, oh, I can't master the web at all. You do accept that using the web is now part of your job as a coach, but you don't want to spend all that time in learning these web skills. You want to learn them as quickly as possible so that you can implement them as quickly as possible. And that's what we're going to try and do. The purpose of these series of courses, therefore, is to provide guidance for soccer coaches who want to use the web. This particular course is focused on how you capture and organize content from the internet. So it's your own personal knowledge management plan. Content may be in the form of anything that you manage to find on the web and capture it. That could be videos, practices, drills, etc, etc, etc. Those are the skills that we would expect you to be able to show by the end of this course. And in fact, we would hope that you'll be able to use these skills as you work through the course. As you can see, it, they range from um, finding and pulling content to organizing content to be pushed to you, uh, how you then organize the content that you've got, and finally, how you get some more out of YouTube, including starting your own channel. Very simple uh, scaffolding exercise. So we're going to start uh, looking at search, how you get the best out of search, developing a trusted colleagues, how you use newsletters, RSS feeds and content monitoring. So you can build upon each web skill as you go along in finding content on the web. Secondly, we'll look at how you organize content from uh, the way we used to do it right at the beginning with putting content on our hard drive or identifying as favorites through to file sharing, bookmarking, and finally then uh, how we can, particularly with the use of video, create our own YouTube channel. How will the course be delivered? Um, video lectures like this one. Um, we'll have a look at uh, uh, lots of websites. So that it won't be PowerPoint like this, but it will be uh, lots of websites and web skills. Um, we'll try and concentrate as much as possible on using free web tools. There'll be documents you can download and we have set up an online course community the details of that will be on the next slide uh, where you'll have opportunities to post questions to me and other learners on the course there's the details of how you access the community site for this course just please make a note at the bottom if you are already a member of the Sports Path community site because you've enrolled on one of our other courses, um, can you let me know whether you still have your password or not? So please remember, you've got access to this course for six months. You can go in and out as often as you want. You can rewind sessions and you can access it on any computer, mobile device or iPad. There is a, a background book to this course, uh, and it is um, it was launched back in uh, the end of 2013. And there are the opportunities for you to purchase this book, if you like, uh, for 50%. So uh, that's introduction over. We've got some pre-course tasks coming up, so please click on to the next section.